In this video, I'm going to walk through the process of connecting a sensor to the Global Coherence app. When I created an account in the Global Coherence app, I never connected a sensor to it. So in this video, I'll walk through the process of adding that sensor information back in. There's two different kinds of sensors that you can use to connect. I'll be working with the wireless interbalance sensor that sends data over a Bluetooth connection. There's also the option to use the Global Coherence app with a wired iOS sensor, and I'll talk through that as well. So if we're working with the Bluetooth enabled sensor, it's really important that the first thing that we do is make sure that Bluetooth is turned on on our phone. So I'm going to open up settings and find Bluetooth and make sure that I have Bluetooth toggled to that on position. This is really important because it's how the sensor sends data to the app. A lot of times when you work with other kinds of Bluetooth enabled devices like speakers or headphones, you actually need to pair the device within the settings portion of your device. HeartMath has made it really, really easy for us, and we don't have to do any of that. All of the connection between the sensor and the app happens within the app itself. So once I have Bluetooth turned on, I can exit out of settings, I'm all good to go. The next thing I want to talk about is the actual sensor itself. This is the Interbalance Bluetooth sensor that I'll be working with. There's two portions of this sensor. One, the smaller piece is the ear clip and that attaches onto your earlobe. The second piece is the Bluetooth transmitter. Uh, that's, the, that's the bigger portion. If I go ahead and turn this over, on the back side you'll see that there's a sticker and the sticker says HRV and then there will be characters and numbers after that. Those characters and numbers are the unique identifier for your specific sensor. And we'll use that number to connect the app and the sensor in just a moment. On the backside, there's also a clip which you can attach onto the top of your garment, which makes wearing the sensor really comfortable. If we turn that, that Bluetooth emitter back over, I can press the big button on the top to turn the sensor on. And you'll notice once I turn the sensor on, there's a LED that's blinking quickly. That indicates that the sensor's on and it's ready to connect to the app. If we take a look back at that little earpiece as well, you may notice a little LED light inside of the earpiece. The way this sensor works is it uses low le level LED light to measure changes in blood volume in the earlobe with each heartbeat. That interbeat interval is then calculated to determine heart rate variability, which we use to measure coherence. So once I have my sensor turned on, I can go ahead and go back to my app. Let's open up the Global Coherence app. And from this home screen, I have a gear icon on the top right hand corner that will open up the settings for the app. So the third item down is sensor ID. And this is what we want to click on to actually make that sensor connection. So here it lets me know that I have two different options. One is a wired sensor option, which you can use a wired iOS sensor to directly connect to the app itself. So if that's the kind of sensor that you have, you can plug in that sensor now, connecting the sensor directly into the port on the bottom of your device. If you are working with a Bluetooth sensor like I am, the next thing that you can do is say proceed with connection. I'll proceed with connection. I'll go ahead and enter my specific code. Again, make sure that your sensor is turned on for this. I can say continue, and it should say connection successful. If for some reason your connection fails, just make sure that your sensor is on and make sure that you've also entered that code correctly. I can go ahead and say continue, and it'll take me back to the home screen. So the really great thing about this app is that anytime I turn the app on and I turn on the sensor itself, the two will automatically connect with each other. I'm only going to have to go through this process of entering the sensor code a single time. We can always check that as well by going back into settings, entering the sensor ID portion, and you can double check that your sensor is connected. So that's the process of connecting a sensor to the Global Coherence app.